Hello guys, uh, and welcome back to the other upgrade series. And uh, last week, what we did, we reviewed how we can uh, upgrade uh, RX or R9 crossbow to the uh, adder version 2 by using adder upgrade kit. And that's actually uh, an upgrade. Uh, but today we're gonna talk about conversion. So uh, even without this adder kit, uh, we can uh, make this uh, upgrade up to the adder platform version uh, just by handling that internal mechanism. The only modifications for conversion is a handle modification. You need to cut it. And to cut it, uh, of course, you need to uh, replace, remove it and uh, uh, cut it uh, separately. Uh, and then what you need, you need to make uh, those uh, rear parts uh, compatible. And that's easy to be done if you use this plastic item, which gives you right the dimensions for the holes and right dimension for the place where you need to cut. That's actually all uh, for conversion. Okay, let's review what will be in the kit. So in the kit you will get uh, this plastic item to uh, get the right dimensions uh, to cut uh, the uh, metallic part uh, here and um, as you know there uh, screw in the top uh, which is uh, this imperial size screw um, and uh, for this we have a cutter and we have a primer uh, drill uh, so you can uh, cut it and then we have M5 uh, screws here on the side and we also have a top and a primer drill uh, here uh, for that as well so uh, let's uh, take a look uh, how we can do it. Uh, what you're gonna need, uh, you will need an electrical screwdriver uh, to drill the holes. And basically my recommendation is first to, to place this plastic item, uh, prepare the drills, uh, fixate the plastic item, and uh, then uh, cut the metallic part uh, off. It will be easier because this plastic part will serve you as a guide for when you will uh, make the cut. So what you need, you need to put it, uh, pay attention that there are two surfaces, uh, vertical and horizontal, so you need to align both uh, here. In this case, if you aligned both, then uh, this plastic item sits correctly. Uh, so to make uh, the hole in the right position so make sure that uh, your plastic uh, item is here and when you are screwing when you are drilling uh, drill it uh, just uh, some millimeter or two uh, inside uh, without uh, removing uh, the plastic item so you make sure that your drill will not uh, travel because if you will just prime it and uh, then your drill might migrate a bit but what you want, you want to uh, make sure that you are drilling and uh, you're making the hole without at least uh, maybe one millimeter uh, without removing the plastic item. And let's make the uh, side holes. So at least like this, you see. So I have primed it enough inside and on the other side as well so we know that later it will not travel uh, to the left to the right or whatever which is direction and now what we need to do we need to evenly mm, prepare it uh, here half of the hole should be from this side and half of the hole should be from that side and it should be perpendicular. Okay, let's now make a thread. Uh, make sure that uh, you, so either you do it by the electronic device, by uh, electronic screwdriver, but make sure that you are not going through this because if you will uh, go with full force here, when it will touch the bottom, you will just destroy the thread. So either you need to apply uh, very few power and uh, make sure that you stop at the right time, or you need to do it with a manual uh, uh, manual uh, 
uh, item I will show you so that you can um, control the force you apply uh, and uh, in this case you will feel uh, when to stop it and then you can test it by this screw so that you have it possible to screw in and screw out Okay, uh, now when we got uh, holes from both sides, uh, we can use uh, this uh, top. Gentle, again, either use electric device or use manual, as you prefer, but you need to be gentle and to make the thread and make sure that by cutting from one side you are not destroying other side so as soon as you get in from one side you get it back repeat the same procedure from other side. And now you can test it by screwing in um, M5 screws on the both sides. So it should screw in well so then you're done now you can check that the hole is in the right position so you see it's exactly as it's supposed to be okay so that's what you need to get uh, you need to fixate it at least with those uh, two screws and prior to cutting uh, this part uh, now when you are fixated you need to do it with this so and you need to cut it uh, exactly along the plastic part uh, make sure you are not deviating to inside the plastic part or uh, away from uh, plastic part it should be vertical cut here so let's do it and let's hope we did it right mm -hmm. Okay, as you're approaching to the end, you should uh, do it more carefully, so you not cut plastic item here. So, do it gently and approach the end of the procedure slowly. You will see that the part becomes loose and then you can remove it. So, you should get something like this. It's okay if you get like half a millimeter aside of this. Uh, uh, out of this plastic part is better than if you cut the uh, plastic part and then what you will do um, you will need to file it down so that you get a smooth surface and uh, you get approximately uh, a line with the plastic part um, you can remove plastic part uh, for filing and um, to not damage the plastic part and so it remains for you as the measurement tool so you remove this you file and then you put it back time to time uh, to check that you are filing correctly you can remove this as well mechanism by fixing it uh, somehow at the back so it's not interfering with the file okay 
uh, after you are uh, done uh, with this so either you have uh, a bolt magazine or you have uh, this other magazine you can actually uh, test it uh, in place uh, how it fits and for other magazine uh, you will need to get rid of this uh, pin um, because one way you can make some uh, hole here for, for this pin but better you just remove this pin it's not needed so uh, what you need you need actually uh, just uh, any M M3 screw you may even include it in the set and uh, hammer it uh, out just from the top so the pin will get out store it somewhere and after that you will be ready to install the original header magazine here um, in next video i will show you um, how you can uh, add some extenders here uh, so that your magazine is uh, fixated because as you see uh, we don't have uh, here any place to catch uh, in contrast to the uh, other uh, platform uh, so you can see that in other platform there is a different rail landing here uh, so in our case there is no place to catch uh, so we will need uh, some kind of uh, fixation here and we're gonna provide it just in case uh, you want to use um, original uh, either uh, magazine as your upgrade option but our primary suggestion is to go with a bolt magazine so you need to put an anti-jammer here and then uh, put the magazine on and then check that uh, the hole is uh, collinear so it's just a small troubleshooting as you are trying to put this magazine on uh, it should uh, both holes should fit uh, if you will get I will remove this uh, anti-jammer but if this anti-jammer for example you will get some situation like this that means you cut not enough here you need to file it more so if you will get uh, behind the screw behind the hole it's uh, not a big problem but if you are like this uh, you still need to file a bit more after that uh, you will be able to fixate it uh, by screws that we're gonna do uh, in a second uh, so just uh, to uh, mention that again when you're making holes make sure that uh, as you are priming first two millimeters that you leave this plastic uh, item in place because otherwise you might migrate uh, the drill uh, uh, and uh, then your hole will be in a wrong position and that will be a big big uh, problem uh, in the next video I will show you uh, how to uh, make a correction in case if you make your hole in a uh, wrong place so what you can do to make this uh, hole uh, to, 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 to eliminate the hole and make the hole in the right uh, position. Now we are done with modification. We cut uh, this uh, plastic part, we cut this metallic part and everything is uh, installed. Uh, so uh, we can uh, put the bolts uh, in and uh, test uh, how it works with an bolt magazine after conversion. So this option is not upgrade, it's conversion option, but as you will see, we will get fully functional system here. Okay, let's put the pin into the fire position so we can load it. Let's load it. Bolt is uh, on the rail uh, and everything is functioning as expected so basically if you want uh, to go uh, from your rx or a nine plot platform to the header version and use either up bolt 
magazine or standard magazine it's pretty easy to achieve it by our conversion kit uh, with all the drills and tops uh, included um, easy you can buy it from someone uh, already used magazine and uh, buy from us this conversion kit and very easily make this conversion finally uh, while we are offering this conversion I think it's kind of a temporary uh, solution. Uh, I think this upgrade uh, version is uh, much better. You are getting a stronger uh, mechanism. Everything is enforced. You get uh, 190 uh, limbs, which are much more powerful. You are getting better handle. But the problem right now is that the AK Archery is not uh, able to deliver as much upgrade kits as uh, required on, on the market. We contacted them and they said uh, it could be end of uh, uh, May or maybe even end of uh, June uh, when they can uh, ship something to us. So that's why this conversion kit uh, will be offered at least for some time. So thank you for watching and uh, yeah in next videos we will review what to do if you uh, drilled uh, wrong uh, hole here uh, some workaround mechanism and uh, also uh, we will go shooting with those converted and upgraded versions to compare uh, and see how it looks on the range hey guys. Uh, thank you uh, important uh, notice so if you are uh, using this uh, conversion kit uh, of course you will lose your uh, warranty uh, from AK Archery and you are doing this on your own risk. So uh, we will not uh, Cover your expenses if uh, you damage something using this conversion procedure, but uh, this conversion procedure is uh, safe if you follow the procedure if you do all the steps uh, and uh, if you are familiar with uh, drilling holes and uh, making threads uh, in the metal so that's enough uh, qualification to make this conversion before uh, thank you for watching and see you soon